What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Today is January 22nd of 2022. And today, we're going to do a deep dive into a trifecta of news stories that made the headlines yesterday and talk about how they're all connected. First of all, many of us woke up to news that singer Meatloaf, the famous Bat Outta Hell singer, an album from 1977, which is actually the fourth highest selling album of all time, according to some lists, passed away at the age of 74. Within a couple of hours, we learned about the death of another celebrity, actor and comedian Louis Anderson, dead at the age of 68. Louis was a famous comedian for a long time, but recently was very famous for his role in a show called Baskets, which starred Zach Galifianakis and also featured another Louis, Louis C.K. We'll mention him in this video a little bit. But what strings all of this together is that Meatloaf and Louis Anderson were both staples in the Las Vegas entertainment community. So Meatloaf had a couple of runs in Vegas, which makes sense, considering he started out on Broadway. And then Louis Anderson, for nearly a decade, had a show on the strip called Larger Than Life. So he was a staple there for a long time. And the same day as both of these news stories regarding their deaths are published, we get a news story about Adele tearfully apologizing to her fans due to her show on the Las Vegas Strip being delayed. And this was a really, really late postponement. It upset a lot of her fans because, you know, they had already flown to Vegas. They were unable to get refunds on their tickets and whatnot. So this was kind of a big deal. And Adele, you know, one of the biggest singers in the world. In fact, her album, I believe it was 21, is the highest selling album of the 21st century. So a lot of connections here. But when you dig into the numbers, it goes even deeper. Meatloaf was born in Dallas, Texas, and Dallas has been a topic of discussion on this channel for a long time this year, and a lot of it had to do with the NFL and the coding around the Dallas Cowboys. Well, in my last video, I explained how the loss of the Cowboys pointed to a different riddle for the Super Bowl with the Tennessee Titans. And notice how Meatloaf passed away in the city of Nashville, which is where the Titans play their home games. Back in April... I made a post about Meatloaf. Now, Meatloaf's longtime collaborator, Jim Steinman, who wrote most of the music for the Bat Out of the Hell trilogy, passed away in April. And back in June, I made this post explaining how the death of Jim Steinman and Meatloaf's numerology were connected to this shooting in downtown Austin. And a lot of it had to do with the number 59. Now, Austin is the capital of Texas, and in Dallas, Texas, Meatloaf's hometown, back in the year 63 was the assassina assassination of John F. Kennedy. And this actually shows the link between all of this. Las Vegas is home to most casinos in the United States. And a couple of years ago, I made this detailed post explaining how the Las Vegas shooting back in October of 2017 was connected to the assassination of JFK. Consider how JFK was shot from a high-rise building, the Book Depository. And in Vegas, a man on the 32nd floor, allegedly, raining gunfire down upon the crowds. So it appears as if the death of Meatloaf is actually connected to this overarching riddle. Perhaps Meatloaf's famous, or most famous song is called i Do Anything for Love. And in this music video... Meatloaf plays a really ugly man who's trying to seduce a lover. And notice how this song was released in 1993. So the same day Meatloaf dies, we get the death of Louis Anderson. And in the year 1993, Louis Anderson is said to have been blackmailed because Louis reportedly sexually propositioned him in a casino. So one must wonder, is asking a stranger for a handy under the roulette wheel the one thing that Meatloaf wouldn't do for love? 
In the alphabetic order, I'd do anything for love sums to 223. This song was on the Bad Out of Hell 2 album, which also sums to 223. The word casino has gematria of 223. And the Las Vegas shooting occurred from the Mandalay Bay Casino. That casino turned exactly 223 months old on the night of that shooting. In Hebrew gematria, the city of Las Vegas, Nevada, has gematria of 223. The word moon in Hebrew gematria also summing to 223, as this was all connected to the eclipse code. Notice how Louis Anderson died 62 days before his birthday, which falls on March 24th. Using the alphabetic order, the name Louis equals 62, and in reduction, Louis Anderson equals 62. This is also the value of sacrifice in the reverse value, 62. Louis won three Emmy Awards for his role in the recent television series, Baskets. Louis Anderson was 62 years old when that show debuted. So let's explain a little bit about how the numerology connecting meatloaf to JFK is also coded into all of this. Now, back in June, again, I explained how the number 59 connected meatloaf to this shooting in downtown Austin. Now, that shooting was on June 12th which was a date with 59 numerology. Now, 59 is the reduction value of Meatloaf's real name, Michael Lee Ade, summing to 59. Meatloaf was born in Dallas, Texas, which is where John F. Kennedy was assassinated, died in Dallas. Notice how the name John F. Kennedy also equals 59. Meatloaf's final birthday was on a date with 59 numerology last year. His collaborator, Jim Steinman, died a span of five months, nine days before Meatloaf's birthday. Notice how the name Jim equals 59 like the word kill, and Jim was born on a date with 59 numerology. Measuring from the death of Jim Steinman to the death of Meatloaf, who said he was so broken up about it that he was having a hard time living after this, it was exactly 277 days between their deaths. And the number 277 is the 59th prime number. When JFK was assassinated, Meatloaf was exactly 5,900 days old. And when he died the other day, it was 59 days into the 59th year since the assassination. This is even connected to Meatloaf's final album, which was released in the year 2016. If you measure from the release date of this album, September 9th, to the date that Meatloaf died, you get 1,959 days. Well, 1959 was the year that Kennedy decided he would be running for president. With the end date included, it was 1960 days. That's the year that Kennedy won the presidential election. And from Meatloaf's final album to the date that this news story broke headlines, the 21st, it was 1961 days. And that's the year that JFK became the president. Now, of course, JFK was sworn in on Inauguration Day, which is January 20th. January 20th is the same day that Meatloaf died. Now let's look closer at this album from Meatloaf and how it was coded with JFK numbers. Again, it was released September 9th, 2016 in his home nation of England. Well, <laughs> I say home nation. He, he was very popular in England for whatever reason. It's not where his home was, obviously. 
But notice how this date had numerology of 54 and 27, as shown here. And that's the ordinal gematria of JFK. 27 and 54 reverse. But think about the date September 9th, written universally as 9 slash 9. In reduction gematria, meatloaf, braver than we are, sums to 99. And it came out when JFK would have been 99 years old. The album came out 103 days after Kennedy's birthday. Notice how the name Jack Kennedy equals 103. His death was a big mercury riddle, 103. But if you include the end date, notice how we get 104 days on this measurement. Meatloaf's full name, Michael Lee Aday, sums to 104 in the alphabetic order. And when Meatloaf died, JFK would have been 104 years old. Also, Meatloaf, Braver Than We Are, this final album that he released. Notice the gematria in the Jewish or Latin cipher, 2221, and how it connects to the date he died, the year 22, on the 20th day of the first month, the same digits found in the gematria of this album. These numbers also strongly connect us to actor Louis Anderson. Let's explain how. Meatloaf, braver than we are, sums to 234 and 99. Louis Anderson's full name, who they've now changed to Louis Perry Anderson. My goodness. Uh, just to highlight for you guys, when I was looking at this yesterday... When was this here? So yeah, yesterday when I was decoding, it said Louis. Well, we knew him as Louis Anderson. The name Louis Perry Anderson has the same gematria, 234 and 99. I'll have to follow up on this because I could have sworn it said with an E yesterday. Louis Anderson died 234 days before the birthday of Louis C.K. Now, Louis C.K. was the showrunner or producer for the show Baskets, which Louis Anderson played Zach Galifianakis' mother on. <laughs> so two comedians named Louis being connected here. The final episode of Baskets aired on August 22nd, which was even the 234th day of the year. But as far as the number 99, which is found in the reduction gematria here, in both methods, think about the name Louis C.K., also summing to 99 in reverse. Zach Galifianakis plays the main character in that series, and notice how his birth numerology is also 99. 10 plus 1 plus 19 plus 69, he's got 99 numerology. His last name, Galifianakis, even sums to 99. Louis Larger Than Life, which was the name of his Vegas strip show. Louis Larger Than Life, summing to 99. And Louis Anderson was born on a date with 99 numerology himself. 3 plus 24 plus 19 plus 53. Now, if you write out 99, you get gematria of 129. And you can pull a date from this number, the 12th of September, 12 slash 9. That's Louis C.K.'s birthday, September 12th. And this date can also be written 912. And Louis Anderson equals 912 in the Sumerian cipher. Louis' death is connected to the Family Feud show, as we'll see. I'm trying not to jump around too much in this video, which I know I'm already doing, but... 
The main character of Baskets was Zach Galifianakis, and this is an important part to the riddle as well. Notice his birthday is October 1st. That's the same date as the Las Vegas shooting, October 1st. And notice how his middle name is Knight. Well, about a week after the Las Vegas shooting, the Las Vegas Golden Knights played their first ever NHL game. And the reason Get Zach Galifianakis is so famous, well, for one, he's a really funny dude, but his huge break came in the Hangover film series, which of course takes place in, you guessed it, Las Vegas. So the amount of synchronicity here is actually pretty amazing when you look at this. So what's so crazy about Zach Galifianakis' numbers also, we talked about this 223 number, how the Mandalay Bay Casino was 223 months old on the night of the shooting. Well, this is another prime number. 223 is the 48th prime number. And on the date of the Las Vegas shooting, Zach Galifianakis turned 48 years old. And that shooting even fell on a date with 48 numerology. The first episode to, to air of Baskets after the Las Vegas shooting was called Wild Horses. And that's really strange because the shooting was carried out by a name, man named Paddock. And usually a paddock is where horses are kept. The very next episode of the series was called Finding Eddie. And Meatloaf played a character named Eddie in the famous Rocky, uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show. He played Eddie. Now, Meatloaf was famous because of the rock opera genre. And think about how rock opera equals 48. We'll touch more on this 102 in a little bit. But yeah, two episodes later, you had a, a show called A Night at the Opera. <laughs> so all of these things seem to be coded into baskets. Furthering the connection with Meatloaf and JFK is that Meatloaf died on a date with primary numerology of 63. And JFK, of course, assassinated in the year 63. JFK's assassination occurred on a date with 115 numerology. That's the day that an assassin shot him from a warehouse. Of course, the word killing has double gematria of 115. And Meatloaf died 115 days after his birthday. Notice how Bat Out of Hell sums to 1122 in Sumerian Gematria. 1122 is the date that Kennedy died. JFK assassination sums to 1122 in the forward Sumerian cipher. A lot of similar numbers, too, when measuring from both the JFK assassination and Meatloaf's birth to the release of Bat Out of Hell. Oops. <laughs> so let's uh let's sidetrack a little bit and talk more about Adele, who was a symbol that tied all of this together yesterday. Now, if you watch this video where she apologizes to her fans, she says that she and her crew had been up for the last 30 hours trying to figure out a way to get the show running. And I thought it was really odd that she said the number 30, right? She didn't say over a day or more than 24 hours. She said 30. Well, 30 happens to be the name of Adele's most recent album. And 30 is a very significant number to Adele. Now, the reason that is is because 30 is connected to the planet Saturn. Saturn takes approximately 30 Earth years to orbit the sun, and in reduction gematria, Saturn sums to 30. This album, called 30, was released on the date leaving 42 days in the year 21. And check out how Saturn equals 
21, and 42 in our standard reduction methods. In standard reduction, Saturn sums to 21, and Adele's album called 21 is the best-selling album of the 21st century. Adele has a tattoo of Saturn on her arm, or at the very least, a planet with rings around it. And she also has this proclivity for wearing earrings that are very Saturnian. See this? Saturn with the rings. I mean, who wears earrings like this, right? Well, this is because Adele's birth numerology is extremely Saturnian. She was born on 5588. This gives her primary birth numerology of 117 and 36. And her birthday was the 126th day of a leap year. The word Saturnian sums to 117, 36, and 126. She was born in the year 88, which is the Jewish ordinal value of Saturn. And consider how Saturn gets its name from Satan. Satan equals 55, like Adele's May 5th or 5-5 birthday. Furthermore, Saturn sums to 558 in Sumerian. Adele's full name syncs up with meatloaf in a mathematical cipher, but it was Louis Anderson who was uh, more closely connected to Las Vegas. You know, he had a show there for almost a decade. He even died in the city of Las Vegas. In the English extended gematria, the name Louis equals 404, and Adele is currently 404 months old. We mentioned how Louis died 62 days before his birthday, syncing up with his name gematria. Well, look at Adele's album named 30, which equals 62. Adele 30, also 62. Louis was 68 when he died. Adele Atkins equals 68. So does Adele. Notice how Adele Atkins equals 85. And Las Vegas equals 86. Her show at the Caesars Palace, which equals 85, was scheduled to last 85 or a span of 86 days. Notice how Adele was born, as we mentioned, on the 126th day of a leap year. And this is the gematria of Saturnian, 126. We'll check out how Louis Perry Anderson is connected to this number. Louis Perry equals 126. So does Anderson. Anderson, summing to 126. The show Baskets began in the year 2016. And if you measure from the final episode of this series to the date that Louis Anderson died, you get 126 weeks. And he even died on the sixth anniversary of the show's debut, January 21st. January 21st is written as 121. Blood sacrifice equals 121. Internationally, it can be written as 21 slash 1, which is the value of ritual human sacrifice, 211. Very ritualistic date. We get news stories like this every year. Uh, remember how on 1021, right, we had the big Saturnian riddle with Alec Baldwin shooting someone on set? Louis Anderson was also the host of the show Family Feud, and I want to talk about how his death is connected to that as well. As you'll see, Louis Anderson hosted this show from 1999. Let's see if we can get a... Uh, there we go. Louis Anderson, 1999 through 2002. So... Louis Anderson's death is connected to his appearance on Family Feud as well. Now, we talked about the number 99 at length. 
You know, Louis's name equals 99. He has 99 birth numerology. His co-stars in Baskets both coded with 99. There's only three numbers that sum to 99 in Gematria. One of them is 44. 44 summing to 99. And 99 was the year that Louis Anderson began hosting Family Feud. Measuring from the premiere of Family Feud back in the year 76 to Louis' death is 44 years and 193 days. And 193 is the 44th prime number. Remember, Louis equals 404. The man was a comedian, which equals 44. He died on a date with 44 numerology which is also the value of the word kill. Louis was replaced on Family Feud by a man named Richard Karn. And notice how the name Karn also has this same gematria as kill. Kill and Karn, the same exact numbers. Notice how the number 64 is here too. Karn 64, kill 64, comedian 64. Louis died on a date with 64 numerology, just like comedian Norm MacDonald, who passed away in September of last year. All right, what's left here, guys? Um, touching back on Meatloaf's numerology... The date that his death made headlines had numerology of 28 and 44, as we just pointed out. Meatloaf also sums to 28 and 44. The date numerology of his death, which matches Kill, syncs up with the date numerology of the death of Jim Steinman, who was Meatloaf's collaborator. Now, there's a strong Jesus riddle with the death of Meatloaf as well. Meatloaf was born on September 27th. The Society of Jesus was officially formed on the date September 27th. And this language of letter and numbers that we're looking at is called simple English gematria. Simple is 74, 74 excuse me. So is English, and so is Gematria. Michael Meatloaf a day sums to 74. He got his big break on the Rocky Horror Picture Show, which equals 74. And now he's dead at the age of 74. This is a number connected to the killing of Jesus. Jesus 74, the King 74, Messiah, Cross, Gospel, Killing, Parables. All 74. It's widely accepted that Jesus was crucified at the age of 33 in the year 33 AD. Crucifixion of Jesus Christ equals 303. So does Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 303. When Bat Out of Hell was released, Meatloaf was 30 years, 3 weeks, and 3 days old. Meatloaf, Bat Out of Hell equals 330. And the record even came out in the year 77, which is the ordinal value of Christ. The name a day sums to 77 as well. Notice how the nickname Michael Meatloaf a day equals 930 in Sumerian Gematria. This is the same as Christianity 930. And Christianity is centered around the New Testament which begins with the 930th chapter of the Bible. Christ's crucifixion is said to have occurred on the 93rd day of the year between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. I pointed out how a day was born on the anniversary of the Jesuit order, which is the nickname for the Society of Jesus. In reverse gematria, the Jesuit order equals 201, Meatloaf died on the 20th day of the first month, which can be written like 201. But this number is a lot more important to Meatloaf than you probably realize. Notice how his birth numerology 
is 102. And Meatloaf was the best-selling rock opera artist of all time. Rock opera, summing to 102. Meatloaf, bad out of hell, equals 210, the same digits. Now consider how his death made news on the 21st day of the month, right? We got the number 21 here. A date that can be written 121. Meatloaf's collaborator was named Steinman, which equals 121. And Bad Out of Hell actually came from a rock version of Peter Pan. And Peter Pan equals 121. Meatloaf's most famous song, I Do Anything for Love, is 1201 in length. That's the album version, 1201. And look at the release date of the original Bad Out of Hell, October 21st, written 1021. The final Bad Out of Hell album was even released on 1020, right? And in reverse Sumerian, check out the name Jim Steinman, the composer, 1020. Jim Steinman sums to 127 and 55 with the S exception. The release date of Bad Out of Hell had gematria of 127 and 55. Or I should say numerology. Meatloaf's birth name connects further to the Jesuit order. He was born on the 270th day of 47, lining up with Bad Out of Hell. And... You know, I haven't mentioned this yet, but it kind of goes without saying that ever since 2020, we've been dealing with this CV19, right? And uh, that's being blamed on a bat disease, the bat out of hell, essentially. Gosh, there's just so much more to this that I almost can't cover, right? Uh We talked a lot about the number 223 earlier. Meatloaf died a span of 223 days after that shooting in Austin that I said he was connected to as well. So that was a big piece of the puzzle. Jim Steinman, meanwhile, died at the age of 73. That's the gematria of Meatloaf. The word sacrifice, 73. The 73rd prime number is 367, and Meatloaf died exactly 367 weeks after a documentary about him that was made. All right. So we got through a lot there. Before I finish this video, I want to touch more on some astrology surrounding Adele. Now, I meant to cover this in a super stream a few months ago, but I actually forgot about it. Just to show you more about how Adele is a coded astrological figure. Last year, she performed at the Griffith Observatory in Los Angeles. And of course, through an observatory is where you look at the stars, the planets, the sky, etc., Now, I've done some work on the Griffith Observatory in the past and how it's coded alongside the Metonic Cycle. So this is a really good post. I encourage everyone to click on the link in the post. The Griffith Observatory opened in 1935. It was exactly 19,350 days before Adele was born. And notice how Adele has matching gematria with Griffith Observatory. In Jewish gematria, Griffith equals 225. And this observatory, the numerology of it, is a tribute to the Metonic cycle. The astronomer Meton equals 225. The number 225 was coded into Adele's age when she performed there. And her album, 30, came out when she was 12,251 days old. More 225. So the Metonic Cycle is 19 years in in length. 
And Adele's first album was called 19, and it was released on a date with 19 numerology when she was... Well, let's see. This was 5,019 days before her show at the observatory. (laughs) This album, called 30, by the way, was released on November 19th. And on November 19th, We had the longest lunar eclipse since 1440. And there won't be a longer lunar eclipse until 2669. So this was a huge eclipse. And Adele's album was released on that date, connected to Saturn. Wow, this is actually a pretty good riddle. Her show at the Griffith Observatory was exactly 561 weeks after the release of 21. And the word Saturnian equals 561. When her album 21, the best-selling album of the century, was released, Adele was exactly 8,300 days old. And this is just like her full name, Adele Laurie Blue Adkins, 83... And then she performed at the Griffith Observatory, Griffith 83. Finally, the magic square of Saturn, which she has tattoos of, sums to 45. And the name Adele in English Gematria summing to 45. Her show there was exactly 45 weeks after the last total solar eclipse. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap the video up there, guys. We had a lot to pick through in that video, but hopefully I made the best sense of it as I could as we try to examine this numeric vortex, this matrix that we live in. All right, everybody, thanks for jumping in, whether you're watching live or archived. Everyone's free to like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do to share the work. You're welcome to do so. Thanks again. Peace, love, God bless, and we'll talk to you soon. See ya.